friends welcome to my workplace at ranak heart west bengal india this is a traumatic subcapsular cataract with posterior synechia let us observe this surgery this is an edited video this is the main incision at 11 o'clock with a 2.8 mm steel keratome and now a side port is being made at two o'clock and now I make some stab incisions I want to place three iris hooks in this case this is a side port at four o'clock another side port is made at nine o'clock and on more was made at twelve thirty o'clock now after staining the anterior capsule with trap and blue dye this is visco filling up the anterior chamber. Now an iris spatula is being used to break the posterior synechia. In this case I didn't want to use BHEX because the pupil has dilated well in the six o'clock area and now this is the iris hook at nine o'clock one more iris hook is placed at twelve thirty had to attempt several times to place the hook and on more was placed at four o'clock. Visco filling off the anterior chamber and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And now see what happens as I try to do capsulorexis. See the wrinkling and the whole lens tends to move. This means there is some genular weakness and probably many genular fibers have been torn because of trauma. So I did a small rexis of about 5 millimeter because I want to place a CTR and right now before hydrodissection because as I do hydrodissection visibility will be very poor. So here goes the CTR and through the side port at 2 o'clock goes a Sinsky hook. I lift the anterior capsular rim and there I tuck the leading portion of the capsular tension ring. Yes, the leading portion has gone into the bag and now I rotate it and the trailing end is placed in the bag with the help of this Sinsky hook. can see both the ends there. So both the ends are at 9 o'clock and there is a gap between the two ends. And now I do a hydro dissection. Hydro dissection is done gently and I try to rotate the lens mass. So I could rotate it only few clock hours, then it gets stuck. However, the hydro has been okay. And now 
fill up the interior chamber again with 2% SPMC. And now I'm going to use this pre-chopper. This is Dr. Sohel's pre-chopper for dividing this lens mass into fragments. And here it is. It divides nicely into two pieces. And here I divide on heminucleus, rotate, come to the other heminucleus and divide the other heminucleus as well. And now the antechamber is filled up with Pisco again and here goes the FECO handpiece bevel down. The superficial lens mass is aspirated and I try to separate the pieces but the lens mass is soft but we have complete division here two heminuclei are completely separated but I cannot pull it out one heminucleus is not coming out. So here I try again, it's not coming out. See, I cannot hold the nuclear mass. So I have an idea. I go behind this heminucleus and push it up and emulsify. The other heminucleus now comes out just by a push with the Sinsky and it is removed. I'm using very low vacuum, 200 vacuum and 25 fluoride so that I don't pull it vigorously. I don't pull the contents vigorously. That's why the vacuum has been kept only 200. In routine cases, I use 450 millimeter of mercury vacuum. This is Oatly Faro's. And now I use a Sinsky to rotate this piece of epinucleus. This is a hemi epinucleus. I go again with the hand piece and gently pull this heminucleus and it comes easily. And see in this case there is no cortex left. As the epinucleus comes out, the bag is clean. So I fill off the anterior chamber with visco and implant a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens. This is Hanita HP from Israel. Beautiful lens. See how beautifully it opens. Yes, the lens has gone in the capsular bag. And now I remove the hooks before removing the visco. The hooks are easily removed. The silicon guard is pulled backward and it is removed in this way. And now the visco is nicely cleaned and there is a piece of nucleus and here it comes. 
the nuclear piece must be removed and then some more cleaning of the end chamber is done in this case I didn't go behind the eye well because that may cause some stress on the back used by manual irrigation aspiration to remove some more visco the irrigating cannula goes through the main wound it lifts the anterior lip of the main wound and leakage of fluid becomes very less and now there is lot of fluid over the ocular surface it is being wiped out with cotton tipped Janssen bard and this is wet and squeezed cotton with a few cotton fibers of the cornea that has been removed this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the side port at 2 o'clock is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anti chamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will give some tips to manage such cases with weak genual. So we can place a seat here without hydro and visibility is much more if we place the seat here before hydro dissection.